Hello everyone, it's Blue Gamer here, and with my let's play of Night Delivery, a psychological horror game where you play as a mail carrier delivering late night packages. And I saw a fellow YouTuber playing this game, I didn't see much, but from what I did see, it's quite terrifying. So with that said, let's get into it. Alright, start game. Alright, delivery man, 31. Alright, use mouse, W, A, S, no, W, A, S, D for movement. Press left mouse button to interact. Alright. This is my last stop. After I deliver these five packages, I'm done for today. Alright, so we working for UPS, FedEx, Amazon. Alright, get a package, package C. Alright, got a package. Press tab to open your inventory. You can also switch items using your mouse but mouse scroll. Right. Room 206. Package. Alright, say so I room, we gotta go to room 206. Alright, so it's this is the first floor, so it's it gotta be our deal. Let's see. 206. 203. 203. 205. 206. Okay, it's right here. Knock. UPS. Uh, knock again. Hello? Anybody here on? I'll just ring the doorbell then. Anybody gonna be coming? I don't got all day. Oh, there he goes. Hello, sir. I got your package. Ugh. 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 You took way too long. Get the hell out of my face. Ow! Hey! That's rude! Don't be throwing your wire balls at me! Amazon doesn't pay me, pay me enough to take, take this harassment. That's assault, sir! Alright, so... He threw a wire ball at me. Can I go get, can I go get it? Oh, well, I can! Alright, so I got a wire ball. Can I drink it? I can't. Oh, a cat! Hey, cat, you want some water? Uh, I guess not. You still want, want to try again? Yep, that's obviously a no. Well, you do you then, I guess. Let's see if I can find anything to use the water on. Can I pour in some bushes? Oh, a dog! Hey, doggy! You, you want some water? That's it. There he goes. Alright, so he... He, he can have something in his mouth. What's it about you? Kohei, have you got used to a new environment? You said you are doing your best to get along with everyone in the apartment. Did you get along well? I know that you are very kind. I hope other people can feel that too. Start with one person first. Also, it's okay to work slowly. You tend to think pessimistically. Try to think positive. By the way, how's the dog? A kitchy, was it? Show me the dog next time, okay? Mom. Alright, so I like, um... Kohei's mom is worried about him. And this is, this is his dog right here. So that's something. Alright, so we found useful water. Oh, who, who is this? Oh, they're going. He is bowed out here. But that, that proves that he that's his dog. Alright, so let me go get another package. 
He ran over here, though. Let's see. Give me package E. Alright, so what I gotta deliver this to right here. Room 502. Alright, 502. Alright, let's go to 502. Alright, go up the stairs, go up the stairs. Um, what? Why the trash pile up the stairway? Can I move it? I can't. Do they got no stuff stairs? Well, they don't. So how I get to how I get to to um? To the, the next floor. Is it for the? Yeah, final, final two. How do I get to the fifth floor? Oi! Is it elevator? It is. It's the elevator. Okay, so I found a way to get to the fifth floor. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so fifth floor. All right, there we go. Wait, was it 502? 502, okay. Wait. That door is open. Hello? Hello? Oh, they closed it. Are you okay, buddy? Are you having some serious constipation? You need some help in there? Sound somebody's on the toilet. We're well, um Hope you're alright. Alright, 502. Alright, not UPS. Oh, hello. Hmm. Thanks. I have a reward for your great service. You love cats too, don't you? Take it and be gone. Um, what'd you give me? She gave me something. Oh, cat food. Oh, oh for that cat. That's good. So, so I gotta give this to that cat. Alright, first floor. Alright, whoo. Making some progress. Here you go, cat. I come cat food for you. Eat up. Alright, what's it right here? Kohei, how are you doing? How's the new apartment? In the previous apartment, you had to move because the residents there weren't so kind to you. Is it okay this time? Before there were people who made a fool of themselves about dis disabilities and welfare, right? I said many times before, you weren't the bad one. Don't blame yourself. Also, don't be impatient about getting a job. Kohei, you're my son. You'll be okay. Things will get better. Mom. Alright. So, Ko Kohei's mom is really worried about him. Alright, so, package, package B. Alright. Deliver package B. Where I got delivered to? Room 401. Alright. 401? Oh! Who are you? Hello? Sir? Who are you? Oh, that's, that give me, that give me the, the, the shivers. That sound though. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, let me go. Let me go get. Let me catch him. Catch him. Oh, he's gone. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Alright. 401. Okay. Alright. 401. Fourth floor? I'm blocking the, the, the elevator. Who who that messy? Oh crap! So I can't. I guess I can't. I can't take the, the fourth floor then. Um, fifth floor, I guess. All right. So I guess we gotta go down to the um to the fourth floor to the fifth floor, cause the fourth floor is obviously blo blocked off by trash right here to the elevator and down here to the stairs. So. Here's what it is. Alright, knock. Oh! Hello! Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm scared. Am I the only one? Aren't you scared? This whole place. It's like I'm becoming a part of them. Never mind. Forget about it. All right. Oh, m me? I haven't left, left the room in a while. I, I, I don't know. I stopped c counting. Hmm. Oh, right. You're here for a package. Don't know if I can tr trust you and uh, your, your parcel yet. Talk to a priest. I can't trust you until you talk to a priest. He said he lives in apartment number 105. Alright. Guess I gotta go talk to a priest. Alright, so. He's in he's on, on the first floor. Alright. So, Mr. Priest, I got your pack. I got packages for you. All right. So. All right. Not. 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 Amazon. Oh, you got a very wide smile on your face. You mean use the enzyme? What do they call it? Just, huh? I see Michiru sent you here. I'm a local priest. Say no more. I can sense that the package is cursed. But I need to make an offering first. Before I can perform any sanctification on the object. Monetary that is. So you want money? I need cash. Before I can perform any sanctification on the object. So you're pretty much extorting cash from your neighbors. That's some kind of priest. All right, so let's go get some money from this guy, I guess. All right, five. All right, let's go out here to go to Michiru. Meet you, um, the priest needs some money. You spoke to the pr priest? D directly? How lucky are you? I'm o I've only exchanged words through the door in the calm. Hmm. So he needs money? Why, of course. What the priest says is always right. Here, give this to him. M make sh sure to give it to him uh, ASAP. I don't want the priest to be waiting any longer. Oh, poor Michiru. You're being rolled. That 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 priest is taking you for a ride. Alright. Floor one. Yeah, you hate to see it. When somebody is just um scamming somebody else some money. Here, priest, I got your dirty money. 
Let me double check the amount. Wait. W what? Just, this can't possibly be enough. Does Michiru really think he can get away with this? He's giving him money for to, to sanctify a, 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 a package. I'm pretty sure that's, that's enough, enough right deal. This is enough. That's Michiru to bring me more. Oh, crap. I don't get paid enough for this. All right, let's go get some more money from Michiru. Hey, Michiru. What? It wasn't enough? Forgive me, priest. I hope this much will help. This is all I've got for this month. I have to ask my parents to give me more. Oh, man. Seriously? He's, he's giving away all his money to a priest that's scamming him. And now you gotta go back and go ask his parents for some more money. You hate to see it. Back to the first floor. All right. Here, priest, I got some more money for you. You phony. Let me double check the them out. Wait. Oh, that's enough. Barely that is. I'll forgive him this time. Let us begin the ritual. There's no ritual, is there? You're scamming him. You're just gonna stand. Done? Phew. Hmm. Now go away. Wow. Some people. All right, let's go give Mitchell his, his package. That wasn't even cursed. Forgive me, priest. I'm ready to take the package now. Now go away. Ow! Yeah, you didn't have to slam the door in my face. Wow. You try to help some people and they slam doors in your face. That one is really blowing hard. Alright, let's go back to the first floor and get another package. I think I have one left. Or is it two? All right, yes, yeah, two. All right, package D. Take the package. All right. Got it. All right, let's go deliver this package. All right, where's I'm delivering to? Room 305. Got it. All right. So can I go to 305 for the, through the stairs? I think I can. Let's see, 305. Floor three, two, three, five. Where's room three or four? Whatever, it's fine. It's whatever. All right, not. Hello. Oh. It's Hello. I got your package. 
UPS? It's quiet. Oh, that's creepy. Anybody home? I'll be right there. All right, so where are you? Oh, there he is. Got some package. Hey, what are you doing? That package is a bed frame. You're going to help me build it, right? Um, I don't get paid enough for that, but fine, I guess. I'll help you build your bed. Alright, can I go in here? I hear dripping. All right, so here's a bed. All right, set up the bed frame. Yes. That ambience, though, like it's just like right in my ear. Oh, she's gone. Um, the door's open. Oh, that's blood. Oh, it is blood. It's dripping now from the ceiling. So somebody above us is having a bad time. All right, let me get out of here. All right, not like that. All right, so. Let me go get another package then, I guess. I think they got one package left. Wait. There's a bike over here. This bike was here before, was it? No, I don't remember this being here. When did this get here? All right, got one package left. Package A. All right. Okay, where am I going to though? Room 202. All right, so room 202. So I can just go upstairs. I'll have to take the elevator. It's okay, it's right up here. Room, oh, right here. Knock, knock. UPS, I got your oil butt plugs. Oh, there's a baby. He's all deal. Hmm? My baby. You have to help me catch him. All right, gotta go fast. All right, so let's, let's see. all right, so let me start from the, um. Let me see. Let's try the first. Let's try the, the the fifth floor first. Let's start from the top and work our way down. So he's not, he's not over here. Okay, 502. 503. Try to look for something, something in, um, in particular to see if he actually went. Oh! Forgot all about the door right there. I don't want none of that. Alright, so. Let's, let's try floor four. Four two. Oh, it's door open. The door's open. That opened up pretty quick. Um, oh, that that vibration in my ears. Why the picture of the refrigerator on the floor on the, on the on the walls? Oh, 
Oh, blood. Drop blood. And even more pictures on, on, on the walls of refrigerators. Uh, a plant? Plant pot. Can I push it? I can. Me causing trouble. I can't open that. Okay, so I can open that right there. Okay, so I can open that too. Alright, let's see. Another picture. I hear the baby. Is that the baby? Alright, so I hear the baby. He's in there somewhere. Right here. There he goes. Found him. Found the baby. Alright. What? Um, hello? Hello? Open the window? Oh, he's out. He's running. He's running. Ain't closed the door. That was weird. You knock on the window and then you just ran off when I opened the window. Alright, so let's go back down over here. Let's go to the first floor. Oh! Um, it got dark. Um, I can't push anything. Oh, crap. Am I going to uh, elevate the hill? Oh, everything's red. Yep. I'm obviously in, in, on every other hill. I can't go that way. All right. Packages. Okay, I got money. And I got some packages. The money is obviously for that guy. It's gotta be for that priest. Right? Cause he's the only one that cares about money. All right. This morning I saw Yukichi in room 105 walking. He seems to be a priest. And I thought he was a kind person. So I went, I went to talk. What, in, what is the weak person doing? I don't want to see it. Just useless without money. Never show up in front of me ever again, he said. Maybe he was in a bad mood. Really, the priest said that? That's not a good priest. Alright, so let's see. Alright. Room 104, I mean 401, 305, 206, 502, 202. Alright, so let's go up. Two oh three. All right, so let's see. Three oh five. Okay, so two oh two and, and three oh five. That's the one I gotta look for. Okay, three oh two. Right here, 202. There we go. Got a letter. All right. The baby was walking outside this morning. He's adorable. That's Mariko's child in room 202. As soon as Mariko noticed me looking at her son, she grabbed her, her son and took him inside the house. Please stay away from my son. Am I like a germ to her? That's messed up. Alright, so 
206 and 305. Five. Right, five, four, three. Wait, wait a second. Five, four, two. That's all we over there. Okay, so I only worry about that. Four, one. Okay, 205 and 206. I need to worry about those. Okay. Right here, 206. All right. At night, Mr. Takeo in room 206 was carrying a box filled with beer cans. I said, do you mind me helping? Why the freak are you trying to help me? If you have the time to help, you shouldn't be on welfare. You're just a burden to society, said Mr. Takeo. What? I wonder if people around me think that way. That... Only idiots think that way. You're not you're not a burden on society just because you're on welfare. Okay, so Alright, two oh five. Alright, three oh five. Wait, is that right there? 305? Yeah, is it right here? Alright, Arissa in room 305 is a student. She's also a part timer at our nearest convenience store. I can tell she is a hard worker, and I respect that. When I thought she wouldn't say hello when we passed each other uh, for the first time this morning, she said, Are you stalking me? You ugly freak. I wasn't stalking. Dang, that's harsh. See, you have to avoid people like that. When, when, they, when they actually just say, like, mean stuff to, to, to you like that, right out of the blue, just ignore them and don't talk to them anymore. Because they, they, they are just jerks. Alright, so. So I get over to you. So what I got to do? 401 and 502. So that's going to be somewhere on the other side. Making some progress. So it gotta got be some, somewhere over here. It has to be over there somewhere. Okay, so that's 41502. So that's, um, okay, so that's. Oh, right here, 502. Today I gave a cat can to Erica in room 502. I also have a dog, so I wish I could get along well. She told me I was a disgusting, I was disgusting, but I believe there were no bad people who love animals. I was hurt, but that's really how I go sometimes. Just because somebody got animals does not mean they're actually a good person. They probably abuse their animals too. 
Foul. Okay, four one. Here go right here. That's the last one. All right. And the elevator's back up. All right, so let's read this. I thought I could get along with Michiro saying say in the room 401 since we were close in age. I've never seen him out of his room. I decided to visit him. He finally came out for the, first, for the third time. I don't think anyone can get along with someone like you, he said. That's it. And the door closed immediately. Dang, that's harsh. Why is everybody acting like a jerk to, 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 um, to this, um, this person? This Kohei person. I mean, obviously, it's, it's got be, it, has, it has something to do with be, him being on welfare. Which is not that bad. I, I mean, my mom was on welfare. And she was she was a nice person. But I guess it's just, that's just how, how the world is sometimes. People can, people can be so cruel for, uh, for no reason. No good reason. All right, so we gotta go back to the elevator. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I made it back to the elevator. Okay, press it. All right, let's get back in the, let's get in the elevator. Let's go back to, uh, oh, two, file two. Three, four, why is it not working? Oh, crap, five, oh, I'm getting tingles. I'm shaking. Five, oh, oh, crap. Um, why is it not working? Uh, oh, crap! Oh. oh, crap! Oh, crap! No! Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm shaking a little bit. Oh, crap. Oh, that got me good. Ooh! Oh, the baby! I got the baby back! Why? Why does he feel white, though? Is the baby okay? Um, I got the baby. He's kind of pale like the kid from the ring. Is it a ring? No, the grudge. The grudge. All right, so that's over. Whew, I'm not, I'm not taking the elevator. I'm just taking the stairs. See, that, that was scary. Whew. All right, so let's go over here. Because I remember they had, like, um... I remember they had, like, a um pot can. A, a flower pot. Yeah, a flower pot. All right, so I got a flower pot. No... I got a key. What's it for, though? Mailbox key 404. Alright, so I got a mailbox key for 404. Alright, so where's the mailboxes? Mailboxes. Alright, 306, 405. I mean, 305, 304. 404, right here. Alright, let's see. Koei! Are you okay? I haven't heard from you recently, so I wrote a letter again. You tend, you tend to get depressed since you were a kid easily. Don't care too much about your disability. I'm worried, Kohei. Sometimes the depression accumulates and explodes. Hmm. Kohei, you are kinder than anyone I know, and remember that I'm proud of you. Call me anytime if, you, if anything happens. Dad and I have always been on your side. Work. Hmm. You don't have to force yourself to work, you know? By the way, Grandma wants to see your face. Come back home sometimes, okay? Mom. Alright, so that's his mom. His mom's very worried, though. So, obviously, Kohei is going through a, a rough time right now because his neighbors are being jerks. Like, they're being super jerks. Oh, no package. Um, question mark? Four. Room 402. Wasn't that the room that girl was in? Or was that the room that right, right above her, her room? Let me see. I really don't want to take the elevator, but I, I have no choice at, at the moment. I can't go to the fifth floor. 
We're out, we're out the elevator. Ooh, that got me good though. I was shaking. Oh boy. I did not expect that jump scare. Alright, so 4 4. Alright, 4 4. Alright, 4 3. 4 4, right here. Alright, knock. Uh, doorbell. Hello, UPS. Got your package. Oh, what's the sound? It's like, it sound like radio static. Oh, it's not good. Oh, welfare? Okay, so, so, so Kohei's getting welfare. That's obvious. Alright, so. Alright, so. It's right. a door. People out here, people. Um, hello? Why are you still in here? Oh. There are people out here. I still got this package though. Oh, it's getting, it's getting all staggy. Ending one. Oh, so that's more than one ending. Okay, so. Alright, so that's the dog. That Sheba. The one who, um, who was um, outside looking for. I had to give a water to it. It was also the dog that um, I saw with Kohei. We ran off. So that, so that must be his dog. Actually, it, it was his dog. It was um, Akichi. The dog is doing his business. Smoking a tree. Wait, so it was out there when, when my truck was out there too? And there's a cat. Which I'm not sure if that was Kohei's cat. No, I think it was on um, the neighbor's cat. And the dog was for Kohei. So, yeah, from, from what I actually saw, in the, in the, um, the last part, after the, um, the crash, um, what, when, um, after um, we, we, get, we made out that apartment. Basically, they said um, that um, my, my, the, the person I'm playing with, he, he left the apartment, and he went to the police. And the police went back over there, and they found a corpse, which I guess was Kohei. And he was probably stuck in stuff in the, in, the, in the fridge, I guess. Um, so they ended up taking the, the landlord in for questioning. Because all the um, residents was, was outside. So they said, so, 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 so since they took the, the landlord in for questioning, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that he probably killed Kohei. And stuffed him into the refrigerator. Which is messed up. But it was kind of, it was, it was kind of even more messed up with the, the fact that um, all the residents were... They were pretty much aggressive against Kohei. Like they would call him like a freak. And they would tell him like if, if he had like if he's able to help 
he shouldn't be on welfare. And um, and then one one lady actually took a kid back into the into the apartment and told not told her not to look not to look at her kid. Oh, that's the dog. The dog. Oh, I noticed that. That's the dog. Um, waiting for Kohei, I guess. It was at room room four hundred four. Alright, so that was um night delivery. It was pretty good. But I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back inside here and try to look for the, 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 another ending. So be right back. So we're back in the stag room. Everything is stag again. Alright, so I think I made it to another ending. Let's see. I got the hit call. Oh. Oh, it's a girl. She got stabbed in the head. And it's somebody right there. Who's that? Is that, that, that boy with the hoodie? The one that was, um, that didn't want to come out of his room? Landlord, 53. All right, so I'm inside the landlord's apartment, I guess. What's right here? Okay, okay, so what's that? That's weird. Oh, 10th payment list. Alright, so somebody's Oh He's paying somebody he's he's trying somebody more than than other people. Cause somebody because so, they got one one of them is 70,000. 70, that could not be a gut, that guy. Okay, if they try to that guy more money. Just live there, that's messed up. A flashlight. I'll take that, thank you. Alright, so I gotta go my go on my apartment. It's really dark. All right, so there we go. All right, fifth floor. All right, so I guess I guess we have to go up to um. I forgot what his name is again already. We going to his room. All right, so his room right here. 
Yeah, he's right here. Oh! What happened? Am, am I a struggle? Something's happening. And I just hit the floor. Who's that? That's somebody's feet. Uh, are they in the refrigerator? They're in the fridge. Ending two. Alright, so that was night delivery. I think they only have two endings. As far as, far as I know, I think they only have two endings. And that was quite an experience. I was just sitting there, sitting there for like a moment just thinking. And, um... Yeah, that, that guy, he, he was, um... So pretty much that, that ending, the second ending. Basically, the landlord had went to, um... What's his name? House? I don't know his name. I forgot his name already. He went to, he went to his apartment room. And I guess he got he ended up getting killed because the guy was inside of a fridge, which is kind of weird. And they had a struggle, and the landlord probably, I guess fell to the floor. So that was kind of like a bad ending. But um, I kind of don't blame that, that that guy though if if, he, if that was him because his neighbors were complete jerks. Just read about all the stuff they, that they did that they did to him. Whew. I, I I really don't understand how people can how, some, how people can be like be like that. That's just messed up. But um, yeah, his his parents even told him that um to actually, to actually actually come home. I mean, it's bad because they they were doing that because he was on welfare, and 
the landlord was in the wrong too because the landlord was actually charging him more to live there. I, at least I think they were charging him more because they had people that were living there for like 40000 and they had one person living there for like 70000 So I'm guessing the landlord was doing that because he was on welfare and he probably didn't like him. I don't know. But um, yeah, this was night delivery. It was a pretty scary game, especially for that one jump scare that got me right in the elevator. That was, it had me shaking. But yeah, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe for more Dunlink gameplay content. Stay spoopy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.